uh, welcome to the first chapter of Celeste with Free Battling Bosses, Chapter 1, Forsaken City. I will be aiming for the full clear, and uh, with commentary. No clue what I'm really going to talk about, but let's see that. Oh well, it's already chaotic. Uh, I've done this challenge with one and two bosses, and some bits are difficult just because if they spawn in the wrong spot you can't really fit through an area. I've also got an uh, input tracking mod, so it shows what inputs I do. A death marker mod, which places a little X wherever I die. A death tracker mod, which keeps track of how many times I die. And those lasers were out of sync, because there's different laser speeds. And of course I've got the extended variance mod, which allows me to spawn the extra things. So yeah, other than that, there, it's just normal Celeste with these guys. And I missed the berry. Uh, you get your dash back whenever you attack a bad lane, even in cool physics. I personally find the super fast bullets to be the hardest thing to dodge. Lasers can be tricky depending on the room, but they're usually the best ones to get, other than like laughing. Sometimes you can just like flop, like float there to get. Whenever you strike a bad lane, it does interrupt all the other one's attacks, which is very useful, especially now that there's going to be a bunch of them. I can actually set the bad lanes to like fly to different spots once they hit, but I feel like we want to kill the next challenge in the game. But imagine if I had to hit each of them five times. So yeah. Uh, the first level is not going to be too bad. There's not too many screens that have like very thin spots. But once the levels start getting like very like thin and tight corridors, that's when the spawning of them kill you. As a fun fact, you can't really control where you're going once you hit them. See how I'm locked into the stun? And if I dash right away, it still took that long. You can either go left or right. I don't know what determines it. Like, I usually go left. I think it's based off their attack pattern, because in the actual game, it's oof, only a few times that you actually get launched to the right. Yeah, like when they've got a bunch of lasers, that's what makes it difficult. But bullets are still far worse. The worst one actually is when it's got the fast bullets and lasers, because you think it's going to be a bullet, and then suddenly there's a fast laser. Like those two are just like well. Uh, with the one and two battle challenge, I could like get lucky and have them all laugh. That's going to get a lot more rare the more battle, the more battles I keep adding. I just see there's bullets everywhere. So right now I'm heading towards the heart, because uh, it's not just all berries, it's going to be like all the hearts, all the sets, B-sides, C-sides. I'm not going to be getting golden berries with this challenge because it is way too luck dependent. Now do I remember this? Get the pattern. Uh, oh no, that was it. Just, oops. Can't see the It's up, left, down, right, up, right, left, up, left. Can't see this one. Either. I haven't played Celeste for a while, so I'm a little rusty. Now, hopefully, this audio balance is well because I turned down because I knew that the game is actually pretty loud when also recording audio. But this is a new microphone and I did do a brief test. It seemed fine, but I wasn't really like talking to it, I was just testing it. So like counting to 10, etc. After this first episode I'm not sure how well the commentary is going to be because I don't really know what to say as I'm fine. But I decided to just do it just to make it a bit different. I'm unsure how editing is gonna go, like will I just cut myself off just to show like, successful attempts, which I think is what I will do, because when you're watching 
just for successful attempts, you probably only care about the actual clear and not the combat opponent. But I don't know, I find I'm usually the only one watching myself. That's what I consider the hardest one. There's a version of that where they also ooh, I thought I was gonna get smushed there. There's a version of that where they also like change to like lasers as I was saying earlier. So I should grab this. Oh, I got one shot right. Uh if you're grabbing a block as you hit them, you get like sort of stuck on it and then like flung off once the box is no longer touching you. That can kill you. This is gonna be a tricky formation. I can just like click pause and click retry if I wanna like get a better formation, but I'll only do that if like if it's like a level where it would literally be impossible to get through a certain spot. Like if they were like in that corridor at the end. I would click to retry. <laughs> They're all like sticking together this time. And there we go. Make sure I actually grab it. Uh, I have made a mistake. <laughs> Sad if I defeated all the actual enemies and then I just died to the wrong stuff. Sometimes you can get really difficult configurations with their like placement attack type, and then sometimes you just go through a screen really easily. So like very luck dependent. There is skill involved, but it's mostly luck. Fast falls that before and, um, killed me. Like trying to time things when you're also avoiding the uh, battlings is quite difficult, at least for me. It's hard to multitask like that. Really timed the uh, dodge there well. Alright, this should be the attempt. You're safe once you grab it to set, they can't kill you even when you're in the bubble. And thankfully they do pause when there's like an animation happening. This is probably gonna be tricky to get through. Yeah. And that's what I meant, that was an unavoidable death once I touched her. So I probably should have avoided her, but at least it's your case what I meant. Where like you touch them and you're flung into spikes, regardless of what way you're holding or like how fast you click dash. Now sometimes they can, their attacks do live after a strike, which was just showcased there. Alright, so now if I die after this, it'd be a bit sad. <laughs> oh, I'm on this side. So just barely miss me. It's a little speed tactic there. 
I know a few of the like speedrunning stuff, but I am not like consistent enough to speedrun. I guess the funny thing, like they trigger blocks when you uh, touch them, like when you attack them, sort of like in the actual boss fight, but you know, not as scripted. Now, interesting, they can make some screens easier, like if you've accidentally knocked up your dash, you can touch them to get your dash back. They can't be crushed, unfortunately, as you just saw. Would be cool if they could be like crushed or like interacted with in other ways, but they were never coded to be outside of the boss battle, so it makes sense that there's nothing there. Let's actually go out of my way to attack them. As you might have said earlier, the like, hitbox to attack them is actually very generous, which can actually be bad in levels that are quite thin. And uh, that's the first level. Should be full clear, yep. I'm gonna have to rewatch this, make sure the audio is all like good, and if so, I will record the B-side. And I like moving this around because you can actually move the image. So that was chapter 1A, full clear with free battling bosses. Wasn't too bad. 50 deaths. So yeah, that's the end. Bye.